While it's no secret, this year it's been tough. I'm sure many of you right now are preparing to eat your Thanksgiving meal and your table might look a little bit differently this year. Everyone has a story and getting through this year has been so challenging for many. But for the past week, our reporter Nick Bradshaw has gone around Abilene snapping pictures with his iPhone, finding those stories in these dark times. <laughs> Our frontline workers are the engines that make all things go. In Abilene, like most of the world, it feels out of order. We go through each other's pains. We understand each other. We are in some dark times. I have an addiction problem. On this Thanksgiving, another death in Abilene reported because of COVID-19. Homeless on the streets and healthcare workers. As soon as they walk through the door, everyone needs them again. We are amongst the darkness. <laughs> Maria, 85, just stopped working four years ago. Now her family is trying to keep her safe in a pandemic. She's been in. She's been inside. She's been not going out. Um, and so she's been trying to be safe. In Spanish, she tells me she's embarrassed to admit it but she crossed the Rio Grande and came to the U.S. in 1982. To come to America, it was, it was really, I know it sounds, you know, something that is said so much, but, but seriously, it was to seeking a better life. She ironed clothes until her shoulders gave out. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. At least that's the hope. We know that it can always be worse, but it makes us stronger. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. So it says it's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of love and sometimes of fears. The sun sets and the same problems exist. The Salvation Army has always been a beacon of, of hope to our under-resourced neighbors, um, those who are living in, in, living in our shelter, to those who come to us for feeding, um, to those who come to us for clothing. Um, this year has been no different, even amongst the pandemic. Um, the Salvation Army has been here. And the 85-year-old has two words for all the health care workers. Thank you. Keep the engine going. You're doing a good job. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. Nick Bradshaw, K Texas News.